Good morning. Welcome to Body Break. I'm Manuela Nemesh, personal trainer at World Gym. Today I'll be working the middle back muscles, which are great for posture. If you're lucky enough to have a T-bar row in your gym, use it. Love it. If not, you can always use an um, Olympic bar, place it in a landmine or in any corner, in a squat rack or so on, and um, start by adding weight. I like to add small plates because that gives me a bigger range of motion. On the T-bar row, you have, you're on the elevated platform. Here, since you're on the floor, if you have smaller weights, you can go a little bit lower. Very important to protect your lower back. This is not a lower back exercise, so it's a little bit more advanced to intermediate. So if you have a, a lower back, a, a weak lower back, I would say I'm going to show other exercises that are safer. So, going to bend your knees, keep your chest up. I'm going to use different grips. I'm going to show this one first, that's wider, right? So you're going to first set a position Oops, pretty much at 45 degrees, then you stay here. It's okay to be a little bit lower or higher, but don't move from here. You're only going to pull the way to your chest. I'm going to aim for three, uh, three sets of 10 reps. And then bend your knees. Keep your back straight, just open. Make sure you increase the weight gradually. I already started warming up with a lighter weight, so add the weight as you go. Don't start with a heavy weight right away. Another way you can position your hands, it's palms up. I'm just going to do a few reps. Okay, you also feel the biceps working more. Or you can use this pyramid grip and you feel a little bit more on the outer uh, part of your middle back. Okay, so those are a few variations you can use with this bar. I'm going to move on to a barbell bend over row, another one of my favorites. Let's go. This is another excellent exercise for the middle back. Again, it's a little bit more advanced, so make sure you have the right posture. Then increasing the weight is just a matter of, of time. So bend your knees. You're going to grab the bar with the palms down, a little bit wider than shoulder width. So your arm and forearm will be like 90 degrees. I'm going to aim for 10 reps. So you're going to bring the bar to your chest and stay locked in this position. Exhale as you pull up. and extend your arm fully. Bend your knees as you put the bar back. So do put a little bit more strain on the lower back. Another great exercise that's a little bit safer, it's a one-arm dumbbell row. I'm going to do it right here. I'm only going to demonstrate it on one side. Again, posture is very important. It's a little bit easier. Uh, to maintain the right posture uh, here. So you can kneel, depending on your height, you can kneel on the bench, make sure you place one arm here, make sure your back is straight and the knee slightly bent, so avoid doing this. Some guys hold, lean over a bench, that's fine. If you're taller, it might be more comfortable for you. This is great for my, for my height. Okay, ready? I'm going to do 10. So keep your elbow by your side and don't drop the shoulder. Now, you can also use the rowing machines. They're perfectly fine. You're in a seated position. It's safe for the back. And even for a day when you have less energy, you don't feel like lifting bars, bending over, that's a great option. So I'm going to show you a rowing machine. Okay, this rowing machine is great. We can, you can isolate each um, side. So if you have a weaker side, you can definitely start with that one. You can also do both arms at the same time. You still pull individually, so you don't compensate as you would do with the bar. So exhale and extend your arms fully. Extend as you pull.
Now, if you do one arm only, try not to, this is wrong, okay? So try to maintain your right posture and try avoid twisting. It's actually will be harder because you have to contract your obliques and your abs in general. So this is a safer option for working the middle back. So this is another great exercise. You can keep the knee slightly bent, just open. You're not going to move from this position. So you're just going to pull the weight to you. Now, there's different grips. I like to alternate also with the um, hands, palms up to work my biceps a little bit, especially if I haven't done that in the previous exercises. So I'm going to aim for 10 reps. You can also use a single arm. I'm going to demonstrate you can stay here or you can use a cable. And that's another nice exercise. A one arm row. So place the opposite leg forward. Make sure you have enough space. So pull the cable a little bit farther away so you have space to extend your arm fully. And with this you can also turn. So the beauty of the cable is that you can have more options. And there's also other uh, rowing machines where you can change the arm position, having the palms wide, which is a little bit harder, uh, palms facing each other, or palms up. Okay, so try to work the middle back, have a nice posture, and be fit. If you want to reach me, uh, please visit my website, www.manuelafi.com. Thanks, and have a great day.